Good afternoon. Christy here. Um, we're going to try to salvage this poor little blue mold. Um, a guy was getting ready to throw him away, and he said, you can have him. So I said, sure. I'll see what I can do with him. <laughs> so guys, bear with me. It's the first time I've ever tried or attempted to repair a blow mold. And um, just bear with me. So what I'm going to do is... I'm trying, I was going to try to use my um, Shore Bonder glue gun and um, it was, it just, it didn't quite hold it as good as I wanted it to, but it did hold that one little piece I'm sticking right there in that little crack. Um, it did help hold it enough till I got the epoxy on it. Um, and then, oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm using the Gorilla Glue uh, epoxy. Um, I ordered it from Amazon. <laughs> so, and it does have a two part to it where you have to push equal amounts out of each side and mix it. So, I've got that all mixed and what I'm going to do is attempt to put it on this blow mold as smooth as possible. Um, that way I don't have to do a lot of sanding at the end. But again, this is the first time I've ever even attempted this. So, I'm banking I'm going to have a lot of sanding to do. So, <laughs> bear with me. Um, so right here um i'm taking a piece of milk jug and i cut it and i bent it and i tried to make it the shape of his cheek where it kind of bows out in the front and i'm sticking it down in the hole and i used a needle and stuck a hole through that um milk jug piece and i stuck a string through it um just a piece of uh, thread and I'm going to attempt to pull it up flush, um, as flush as I can in the hole, um, to where I don't have to use so much epoxy to fill it in. Um, but I'm going to tell you, it gave me a run for my money. It was not want to sit flat or flush up against his cheek. Um, you can see me struggling with it here. Um, as I'm pulling on it, it wanted to fall one way or the other, and I just couldn't seem to get it to sit flush in there. Um, I take this Shore Bonder, uh, and this is a low, oh, it's called a Cool Shot, a Cool Shot glue gun. Um, if you try to attempt to do that with any other type of glue gun, I'm sure it's gonna melt your blue mold. Um, so I tried to use the Cool Shot one, and um, it, it did help hold the the milk jug pieces somewhat in there and you know it, it gave me time to to work with it so <laughs> I'm gonna try not to talk a whole lot through this uh, video um, because it's some of it self-explanatory um, as you watch what I'm doing um, but then again I'll come in and, and try to explain I'll come in here and there and um, and try to explain what I'm doing um, but just sit back and enjoy and um, and just watch and just bear with me. <laughs> so I'm finally gonna get this milk jug sitting where I want it. And then I tie off my string onto my ring light. That kind of helps hold it up there. Um, you're gonna see me slide it back and try to pull on the string and, and then I wrap it around the um, the ring light several times just so it'll sit in place but um then i'm gonna take the epoxy and i'm gonna start building and um just sit back and watch here um all i do is keep building it this thing took me several weeks to make this video is going to be over in no time but i'm going to tell you it took several weeks because you build a little bit of epoxy you have to let it sit 24 hours um after the 24 hours you can come back you can build another layer so in each layer you want to try to have as smooth as possible so just sit back and watch thanks guys
All right, guys, it's been several weeks later, <laughs> and I'm gonna use my electric, or my little battery-powered e-file. And what I mean by e-file, it is a um, electric file um, that's used for people's fingernails. Um, I like it because I like how you can adjust that little dial over there and you can see you know, how fast or slow you have it. And um, I'm just using a regular little sand paper. I don't know what grid it is. It's just the ones that are set for fingernails. So um, it came in my little box my all with all the um, all the little um, I don't know what you call them the little bits yeah that come with your e-file. So um, I'm just sanding and sanding and sanding here. Yep, trying to get it as smooth as I can. And like I said, I was no expert on this, so I do a lot of sanding. I'm not gonna kid you. I, I didn't get it as smooth on the edges like I wanted, so just bear with me, guys, because I'm gonna do a lot of sanding. And I'm gonna sand, and I'm gonna touch it with my fingers, and I'm gonna sand, and I'm gonna touch it with my fingers, and you know, and make sure um, I've got it as smooth as I want it. Okay, I'm gonna take some nail wipes because they are lint free and I'm gonna wipe it down with alcohol um, and get all the dust off of it. So just regular um, isopropyl alcohol and just wipe them down. And um, then I'm gonna take, yes, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna take um, Sharpie markers. <laughs> um, they're not permanent markers. So what I'm about to do to this is not permanent. Um, you can wipe it right off with alcohol and um, it's not the right type of marker. You need a Sharpie marker, but it needs to be like the king size, which is a more permanent, I believe, and does adhere to plastic better. Um, these little markers are not permanent. They will wipe right off with alcohol. Um, I'm just doing it for video purposes to show you that you can use these markers if if you're going to leave these inside um, and they're not going to be where they're going to get wet or anything these markers are probably fine um, but I just use these markers like I said for video purposes and all I have to do is wipe all this back off with alcohol and then I can probably go back later and and do a full body um, paint job with the actual plastic paints um, you know, spray them down and tape them off and spray them. I would need to find a neon orange, I guess, paint. Um, I think Krylon makes one. Yeah, pretty sure it does. So, and I think you get that from Walmart. The Krylon, um, the um, Rust-Oleum, I'm pretty sure, makes a neon orange. And um, you could spray paint him like that and then get um, tape it, tape all his black off, and and then and then take that off and, and spray paint his black as well, vice versa there. But um, so don't cringe. 
um, about the magic marker. It, this, like I said, it comes right back off. All right, and I know this orange is not the right color. I'm just using it to put on his places where I fixed with the epoxy. I'm only putting it on that because it sh I can see it better. I can actually see where those raised edges are and where I need to sand better. And like I said, you're gonna see it comes right back off. Um, even sanding it helped bring some off and then I wiped it down and you don't see a bit of it, I promise you. It comes right back off. 